Good morning, this is Kong van Merwe. The date of this recording is 29 November 2021. Uh, the subject matter relates to the whole issue of mandatory vaccination in the workplace. Um, I'm doing this video for the thousands uh, of new followers that have slammed onto my social media the past couple of weeks. I think uh, for, for the, the, the guys sitting there for months already, uh, they will uh, be quite bored by the content of this, this video as it has been repeated uh, over and over and uh, even documentation has been forwarded and sent on and made available to employees. However, we must accept that there are many, many people out there who is facing this scourge of so-called mandatory, and there's nothing mandatory about it in South Africa, and I will get to that in a moment, but the scourge of mandatory vaccination in the workplace, now fresh people climbing uh, on board, employers climbing on board, still being misadvised, literally do not, uh, not, not aware of what the, the actual legal point, the legal standpoint at this point in time is. So let's recap. Questions I get, um, literally hundreds of them in my, my various inboxes, those being my WhatsApp, uh, email, uh, Facebook, my Telegram, everywhere, is the following. First question is, Skulk, uh, we received notice from our employer by way of verbal communication that from now on we must be vaccinated in the workplace and if we are not vaccinated by a certain date, we will be fired. Okay, number one, nothing has actually happened if your employer just simply uh, came to you and verbally communicated that to you. Uh, the Department of Labor issued guidelines in the middle of the year, which is very clear, uh, that, that says that the proper assessment must be done in this workplace, in any workplace, uh, especially those with employees uh, numbering more than 100 in the staff complement and those uh, workplaces that works directly uh, as frontline uh, organizations, businesses, working with people that can possibly have COVID and try to transmit COVID. Okay, so if your employer simply says this to you in a staff meeting or there in the passage halls or whatever, just simply disregard it as absolute nonsense. Okay, do not go into a, a panic state, do not go into a state of fear. Uh, this is not policy, it's not law, it's just simply your, your employer saying something that you heard on the news or you read in the newspaper. Okay. And I'm, I'm being very straightforward this morning about this. Uh, employers, I hope you listen too. I hope you listen too. Sometimes a next step would be for the employer to put it in writing, to send an email to say that if you are not vaccinated by a certain date or time, then you will be dismissed. Same as the above, it has no bearing in law, it has no basis in law, it has no legal power of any kind whatsoever. You can simply disregard it. Mr. Employee, Mr. Employer, your employees are going to disregard it. It's, it's absolutely a nonsense. Okay. Uh, some of the employees have now also, very late to the party, jumped on the bandwagon to, to try and introduce so-called mandatory by mandate uh, uh, vaccination in the workplace. Guys, you're too late. You must go back to the guidelines as set out by the Department of Labor, those things would, would have been have to, 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 to have been completed within a couple of months. The, the turnaround time was about three months. We're way past that deadline. You can't do it anymore. But anyhow, the next step would be then for the employer to send one of these copied and pasted policies because it seems to me a master copy has been in circulation now for some time and all the legal firms uh, making themselves guilty of misadvice to them to the uh, clients and consultants uh, misadvising the, the clients are using the same template. They're just simply cup, uh, cutting and, and pasting the new names of the companies on, onto the thing. It basically reads that a certain process will now be followed, that if the employee does not disclose this, that and the following, which is against the law once again, um, a certain process will be followed in terms of which uh, you must now apply for exemption to the mandate in the workplace. Right. And then a date is given, and then it seems to me that even after this process, there are employers, 
uh, taking the risk unto themselves of acting totally against the law, illegally, unlawfully, and actually going ahead with uh, dismissals. Now these dismissals, it, it seems to me they can't really make up their mind uh, what uh, mechanism must be useful for the, the dismissal, dismissals. Uh, remember, there's only two legal ways, two lawful ways that you can dismiss an employee and not one of them is applicable uh, in this situation. Okay, so Mr. Employee sending me uh, a message, uh, uh, SOS message, please call help, I'm getting dismissed because the employer says we must be vaccinated and if I'm not vaccinated by Friday, I'm dismissed. Please employees listen to me, it is absolute nonsense. If your employer is so foolhardy and so uninformed as to go ahead with that, let him go ahead with that. The CCMA is there. We have not one single case at CCMA. Now that will cause people to fall off their chairs. We have had settlements in every single case before the CCMA and it's now tallying 32 on my books alone. Now what is a settlement at CCMA? A settlement at CCMA is the, is the employer coming to the CCMA acknowledging that they erred and they, they dismissed unfairly and then either offering a certain amount of money in most instances the, the employees take the compensation because they are fed up with the conditions in that workplace in any event or they offer them to reinstate or reemploy the employee. So all the cases at this point in time that have been on my books, 32 of them by now has ended up in settlements in favour of the employee. Now, employers out there, if that does not tell you something, then nothing will tell you. You do, that, do not have to, to uh, believe me. Call the case registrars at the CCMA and ask them to provide you statistics. I hope they, 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 will, yeah, they will be willing to do that. But ask them to, to provide statistics of COVID cases and the rate of settlement in COVID cases. And you will find that it will be very close to 100%. Maybe here and there, cases not, not under my, my finger, under, uh, under my control, uh, maybe in, in those instances there, there were other outcomes, I wouldn't know. But uh, fact check me on this one. Employers, it's as simple as this. If you go on with your, with your nonsense and you go on with your, your policies that's illegal and unlawful and it ends up at, C at CCMA, it's going to cost you at least money. At least money. Employees facing human rights abuses in the workplace, please refer those cases to Human Rights Commission, whereas the CCMA is limited to a certain amount of money based on your salary, the uh, Human Rights Commission and the Equality Court can offer or can, can award um, uh, an amount applicable to the situation, which can literally amount, amount to, to hundreds of thousands and in, in certain uh, except, except, exceptional circumstances, maybe even uh, millions of rands. Um, go and, and make the cases. It's, it's on Google. You can Google all these, these institutions. They're very readily accessible. Um, they, they usually have online portals where you can refer cases. Sometimes you will have to, to download the forms, CCMA form for referral to, to CCMA. Uh, LRA 7.11, you will also find that on my, my social media referring uh, arbitration uh, LRA 7.13 and the Human Rights Commission as their own referral documents. Okay, so in other words, employees, please do not, in your thousands, <laughs> try to contact me, call me, send me emails, send me WhatsApp, send me SMSs, go onto my, my Facebook Messenger, go onto my Telegram Messenger and try and, and get a hold of me. Uh, the same old story is being played out in every single workplace where they try to enforce the so-called mandate or mandatory vaccination. Okay, so that's the advice. Mr. Employer, please, the next part is for you. Listen to me and listen to me carefully now. Uh, there is no law in South Africa and it has been repeatedly said so by the President himself. It has been confirmed in writing in uh, Parliament by the Minister of uh, 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 health, Mr. Parler, uh, there is no law in South Africa that causes mandatory, in other word, words, forced uh, vaccination of employees or for that matter anybody else in South Africa. Right? It does not exist. 
Once again, do not believe me. Go and fact check this. Go and fact check. On my telegram, there are hundreds of comments relating to this. There's videos, there's mainstream media reports. You can call, you can call the, the parliament themselves. Literally, you can do that. You can, you can contact parliament themselves and ask of them to, to get the transcripts of the written response by Minister Pala in Parliament to a question from an IFP member as to whether there will be a law in South Africa, a law, an act of Parliament to make mandatory vaccination applicable in South Africa. Fact check me on this. Please do. You can also fact check me by asking your uh, advisor, whether he be an attorney, an advocate, or a consultant, or whatever he calls himself, because these days it seems to me certain attorneys even call themselves consultants. Uh, I don't know why, but please fact check me on that with them too. Ask them, you want the legislation as passed since the start of COVID, the legislation, in other words, an act to say, act this of this year. Um, this is the heading, this is the act that says that you must mandatory, in other words, forcibly vaccinate your employees. Ask them for, for a copy of that law. Please don't let them come with clever stories of the Occupational Health and Safety Act. That thing has been in, in, um, in place in South Africa for decades. Um, it's not applicable in, in this situation. Please, please do not them, let, let them tell you clever stories about that. If, you show, if they show you the guidelines as set out by Department of Labor, middle of, of this year, well-known guidelines, go and read what is in those guidelines. Do not follow their advice just simply because they say so. Actually, go and read what it says. And you will be astounded to realize you have been misadvised in totality on the issue of so-called mandatory vaccination. In South Africa, there is no such thing as mandatory forced vaccination in the workplace. Full stop. There's also nothing like forcibly or mandatory vaccination of the general public. Full stop. There is no legislation in South Africa forcibly vaccinating children. Full stop. It does not exist. If it is done, then the person doing that will have to show in law where he gets his authorization to do it from. And me and you and everybody out there, 60 million South Africans by now, have realized there is no legal framework for this. There's a very small, exceptionally small part of the population that is covered under the rules of the NCID. I discussed that in detail in other videos. The National Institute of Communicable Diseases, a very, very small percentage. And then uh, a whole process is set out in terms of which only a doctor can order a person or can administer the PCR testing on a person, right? The only other way that you can forcibly vaccinate a person or for that matter have any medical remedy imposed on a person is in terms of a court order from the high court. Now go try your luck with that one. I want to be very clear. I want this video please to be shared so many times as possible so that people can get restfulness about this issue of vaccination. If you want to take a vaccine, go for it, take it, know the risks, don't come and cry later on when something strange happens to you. If you do not want to take it, it is your good right in terms of the constitution, in terms of various pieces of international law and case law in South Africa. You cannot be forced to be tested. If you are forced to be tested, it is unlawful. If by consent you are tested for your workplace, the employer must pay for it. It's as simple as that. That is also a full stop situation. Okay, I've spoken a lot this morning. Uh, I hope it sinks in, but this is the short answer. There is a longer answer, but I'm keeping that for myself. 
until the date that we go to the Concord. But that is the short answer to the millions and millions of South Africans out there wondering what is going on if they hear in the media this company and next company and the following company now all of a sudden has a mandatory vaccination policy and everybody must now be vaxxed, which is absolute, pure and unadulterated BS. If it wasn't Sunday, I would have said it as it is. Skog van Maar was signing off. Uh, after a tremendous week. A lot of things are going to happen this week. Professionally, uh, in my private life, and Leonie's life, a lot of very interesting things are going up. There's going to be a very short follow-up video for those people interested in, in those things just a little bit later today. But yes, that's the long and the short of so-called mandatory or forced vaccination in the workplace. I hope it puts it to rest now.